Stadium, England against Ireland, and the umpires arrange which side each will take. Each of the two umpires takes a half of the ground for the whole of the game, and umpires so that when facing the ground, the goal is on her right. She also takes the whole sideline and gives roll-in decisions in both halves of the ground. It is usual for umpires to arrange to blow for fouls down the whole length of the five yards line on their side of the ground. She must know the rules and how to apply them. And here is part of the game as seen from behind the English umpire in the white blazer. For the bully, she stands where she can see the players, their sticks and the ball. Her position is outside the field of play except when play is inside the circle. She often has to move forward very quickly to be in the right place to give decisions on offside. Her signals are clear and her manner is one of calm confidence. She concentrates all the time, even when play is in the other half so that she can anticipate the run of the game. This attack by England leads to the first goal. Notice the Irish umpire signalling. From the bully, Ireland now has the ball, and the umpire is quick to change her direction. The umpire has to focus the whole of her attention all the time. Here is another good example of the umpire keeping right up with the play. The second England attack has the crowd really excited. The umpire is continually altering position so that she is not unsighted by the players. And now let's leave Wembley for a while and consider how to become an umpire and how to apply the rules. The efficient umpire wears suitable footwear and clothing for the job. She carries a book of rules, a watch with a second hand, a loud distinctive whistle and a scorecard on which she notes the starting time of the game. Are you ready? At the bully, the players must stand fair. Strike the ground before the opponent's stick, and only the flat face of the stick must be used. Again? Players must not cross the line until the bully is completed, nor move forward to within five yards of the bully. The umpire keeps outside the pitch and constantly watches the ball and the position of the players. The white wing has hit the ball over the goal line. The 25 yards bully starts without a whistle, but it must be taken exactly opposite where the ball went over the line. This attack ends with the ball being deflected over the goal line by the stick of the defender who is upfield of the 25 yards line. In consequence, it's a 25 yards bully. The umpire must be able to see that a shot at goal is made from within the circle. A goal is scored only when the whole of the ball has passed over the line between the goal posts. This ball does not cross the line. No goal. The ball must be inside the circle when hit by an attacker, so this attacker cannot score by a direct shot into the goal from outside the circle. No goal. A 25 bully. 
However, if the ball is hit by an attacker inside the circle and is deflected into the net by a defender, a goal is still scored. The whistle is blown and the umpire records a goal on her scorecard before she restarts the game with a centre bully. From this attack, a goal is scored. The umpire always marks her scorecard. Centre bully. The umpire keeps up with the play by anticipating the run of the game. A scoop shot is perfectly legal, provided it is not dangerous. But this undercut is dangerous and is not allowed. A free hit then to the defence. Watch the umpire move up with the game. And the goal is scored. By keeping just ahead of the play, the umpire keeps the ball on her left side and is in a good position to see any foul. The black defender hits the ball over the sideline. White roll. At a roll-in, the umpire checks, feet behind the line, also the stick. The other players, their sticks and feet behind the five-yard line. The white right inner is offside. Now she's moving on side. The ball may not be bounced into play. Black roll. Or thrown. White roll. The ball must be rolled into play within a yard of the point where it crossed the line. Here the ball goes off a defender and over the back line for a corner. Corner! From near the back line, with all the players in front of her, the umpire checks that the defending forwards are beyond the 25 yards line, and the attacking forwards are outside the circle, feet and sticks as well. There are six defence players standing with feet and sticks behind the goal line. The forward taking the corner puts the ball on the goal line within five yards of the corner flag and she does not give sticks when making the hit. From a corner, the ball must be brought under control before a shot at goal is made. Here the ball is stopped, though not necessarily motionless. Another corner is taken. Flying shot is not allowed. It is therefore a free hit to the defending team. If from a corner hit the ball has first touched a defender, it need not be stopped before a shot at goal is taken. Let's go back to the corner again.
a forward is not allowed to deflect or pass the ball to another forward for her to take a flying shot. A free hit to the defending team. If the ball is intentionally put over the goal line by one of the defence, a penalty corner is awarded. A penalty corner may be taken from either side of the goal, but not less than 10 yards from the goal post. The ball is either hit or pushed along the ground. This one is pushed. If the hand is used, the ball must be stopped dead and not pushed forward to advantage. Free hit, the defence gives stick. So another penalty corner. This penalty corner is well taken and well defended by the goalkeeper who sends her team into the attack. If the game has to be stopped owing to accident or injury, the umpire blows her whistle and checks the time. This player has hurt her ankle, but is soon able to leave the pitch, and the umpire restarts the game with a bully with everyone on side, but first she checks for time lost and adds it on to this half of the game. An accident may occur as a result of a foul. For instance, this black halfback puts her stick between the legs of the white forward so that she falls heavily. In this case, the umpire restarts the game with a free hit for the white team. Half time! And this is half time at Wembley Stadium. The umpire see that only five minutes break is given for half time, then the teams change ends, but not the umpires. And now, back to our game.